Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on password protecting an individual worksheet with Excel VBA. So I have in this workbook four worksheets that contain fictitious data. And let's say that we want users to be able to access these first three worksheets, checkbox, scores, and data bars. But this last worksheet named arrows, we want that worksheet to be password protected so that only users with the password can see the worksheet. Now we can individually protect this worksheet with a password without using VBA. However, the user will still be able to see the data. We want this to be hidden and it will not become visible unless the correct password is entered. So first to understand how this will work in VBA, it's important to understand how worksheets are hidden in Excel. So if I click on this arrows worksheet, right click and select hide, that arrows worksheet is hidden. However, I can select any other worksheet and right click, select unhide, and then you can see in this unhide sheet list box, the arrows sheet is available. I can select it, click OK, and now the worksheet arrows is visible. So right now, with this arrows sheet being visible, the visible property is set to true. When this worksheet was hidden, as I just did a moment ago, the visible property is set to false. If you want the worksheet to be hidden in a way where only VBA can unhide it, you have to set the visible property to XL very hidden. And we'll get to that in a few moments when I look at the code. So I've set up this checkbox worksheet with two rectangles. One opens a user form where the user can enter the password and unlock this last worksheet, arrows. And the other rectangle, the red rectangle, is assigned to a subroutine that will make this arrows worksheet very hidden. So that subroutine is here just to demonstrate how this works. I have this set up, this workbook set up, so that when it closes, this arrows worksheet is very hidden. But to prevent having to close it to demonstrate this worksheet being very hidden, I just set up this macro. So if I click this red rectangle, you can see now the arrows worksheet is gone. And if I go to, for example, data bars and right click, the unhide option is not available. I can't unhide the arrows worksheet without using VBA. So again, back on the checkbox worksheet and looking at the blue rectangle, if I right click, go to assign macro, I've assigned this to a subroutine named open user form. So if I go to the Visual Basic Editor, and that's Alt F11, we can see we have the subroutine open user form and there's just two lines of code here user form one dot show and user form one dot text box one dot set focus so I go back to the bring up the user form you see this user form is straightforward just has a label please enter password a text box and this is text box one and a command button command button one so this open user form subroutine displays this user form and sets the focus to text box one. So the user can start typing into the password field right away without having to click it. It'll just automatically set that focus. This open user form subroutine is in a separate module named module one. And also the test subroutine is in this module. This is the one for the red rectangle that hides the worksheet as very hidden. Below the open user form subroutine we have sub hide worksheet. It has one argument x as boolean so true or false. So if x equals true then the sheet arrows, the visible property, is set to Excel very hidden. Otherwise, the arrows sheet visible property is set to true. 
So it will be visible if x is equal to false. So for that test subroutine, the last one that's connected to the red rectangle on the worksheet, this calls the hide worksheet subroutine with the argument true. So that'll make the sheet very hidden. And if we use this hide worksheet with false, the Harrow's worksheet will be visible. So we would use that subroutine with false when the correct password is entered. So moving to the user form code. So this is the code behind this user form. Up here we had module one. That's what we looked at first. This will be the code behind the user form. We have just three subroutines here. The main subroutine is the one that allows us to enter the password. And I'll get to that in just a moment. Below that we have command button one. That's here on the user form. The one that has the caption enter. And this calls this main enter password subroutine. We also have this text box one key down code. And this allows us to hit enter when we have the correct password in the text box. So if we hit the enter key, it's going to activate the same subroutine. So we don't have to click the enter button if we don't want to. We can just hit enter from the text field. This uses the key down, as you can see here, text box one underscore key down. And the key code for this is 13, that's the enter key. So it's just a convenience feature for the user. So going back here to the main subroutine, enter password, I have declared password as string, and I've set password to equal test. So the password is test. If text box one value equals the password, if it equals test, then we're gonna call module one hide worksheet, and the argument is false. So that'll make the arrows worksheet visible. If we have that correct password, we also get a message box saying worksheet visible. And this uses VB information. That's the style of the message box. If text box one value is not equal to password, so if the incorrect password is entered, we'll go here to else, and that's just a message box, incorrect password, and we use a VB critical style message box here. So in this case, a user could just keep attempting different passwords, which of course would not be ideal. And depending on the situation, may want to do something here that only allows so many entries or put some sort of time interval between when passwords can be entered, like five or 10 seconds. Another thing you'd wanna do is lock this VBA code down. And you do that from tools, VBA project properties, and protection, lock project for viewing. The reason you'd wanna do that is because the password test is stored right in the code. So it'd be easy to identify the password. And if a user had access to VBA, they could unlock the worksheet anyway. So they'd have the password and they'd be able to unlock the worksheet. The last subroutine here I used in the workbook, in this workbook here on the left. And this is a workbook and then it's before close. So I selected this before close. There's a lot of options here. This one's set to before close. And it calls the module1.hide worksheet with the true argument. So when this workbook is closed, it sets the arrows worksheet to very hidden. However, for this to work, the user still has to click save when they go to close the workbook. So they attempt to close the workbook and then a dialog comes up. The user would have to click save for this to work. Moving back to the worksheet, we can test out this code. So at this point, the arrows worksheet is very hidden. 
so it can't be reached through unhide that's not available and I click the blue rectangle so I can see please enter password the focus is set to the text box and of course we have this enter button so I'm gonna put in the incorrect password first I'm just gonna use the letter T and hit enter and we can see a message box comes up error incorrect password VB critical click OK go back to this text box and put in the correct password test TST and click enter and we have a message box that indicates we have success the worksheet is visible and we have the VB information symbol there we click OK and close this and we can see the arrows worksheet is visible I hope you found this video on password protecting an individual sheet in Excel VBA to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.